Hi there, welcome to Floridian Books. This is going to be my fashion haul for the fall winter season. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Last May, I showed you my spring summer haul and now that we're in the midst of fall, I thought I could show you all the bits and pieces I bought for the fall winter season and to update my wardrobe for that. Uh, this wasn't bought all in one go. Um, I've been just buying bits and pieces, uh, a few of them every month here and there. Some of these are finds from Vinted and some of these come from regular retailers. So I have no clue whether any of these things are still in stock or if some of these things are still easily available. If they are from Vinted or Vintage, they are probably one of a kind and it's gonna be very hard to track things down. So I do apologize for that. If you like watching hauls to see what you need to buy, this is not that haul. I just like coming on here whenever I have enough pieces to talk about to show you what it is that I actually put my money towards. And I have hung up everything on the rail behind me and I'm wearing one thing and there is one accessory that I need to show you as well. The way I'm going to organize this video is a little differently from what I usually do. Usually I do all the tops, all the bottoms and I organize it that way. But this time I'm going to do it per sort of retailer or like type of product. So I have a bit of ASOS here, Cezanne, H&M, Uniqlo. I've got some Joni clothing and then everything else is vintage. <laughs> so that's what we are going to be talking about. So let me get started. So I do have to hold the microphone in my hand for this video because I'm going to be putting things on my body and show you things on. This is not a, a haul where I style things up. However, I have already been wearing some of these things in recent weekend outfits video. So I did two of them back to back, one in October, one in September. So I will be putting those links in the description box down below. If you wanna see some of these pieces on me uh, with it styled up and how I combine it with other things in my wardrobe. So first things first, we need to talk about the thing I'm wearing currently as I'm chatting to you. Uh, this uh, sweater I picked up in Cologne. There were a couple of things I bought when I was there over the summertime. So I bought this in June, um, but I knew it would be perfect for the fall winter season. That's something I love doing. I love shopping outside of season. Um, so in the summertime, I will very often buy fall winter things. And in the winter time, I buy summer things. That doesn't mean that I didn't buy any more summer clothing over the summertime, but it wasn't enough to show you. And I feel that by now, the momentum is gone. So I'm not gonna be showing you like linen shorts. So I did get this at a very weird moment in time. I knew I wouldn't be able to wear it for a couple of months, but I felt that today um, I could be wearing this sweater for sure. It is a men's sweater. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. And it just has these really pretty fall colors. It's got a bit of like black and like almost like a gray and then uh, a very nice foresty green, a brighter blue. Uh, and then there seems to be like this like nice red color in there as well. It has a Henley sort of zip so that the color can be a little bit more open and it is quite long. Let me show you if I put it all the way down. It's, the, it's a little silly, but if I sort of tuck it over like this, I'm just wearing sweatpants because I have so many other things to show you and some of them are bottom. So I want it to be comfy for the few bits that I do have that are just tops. Um, so here we have that sweater when it's a little bit more tucked up and I just feel very comfortable in this. I have several of these vintage sweaters and this is a really, really perfect item to be wearing in the fall time. It is more of like a cottony material, so it's not super warm, but it's also not super duper, uh, like it's not like a polyester where it doesn't keep you warm at all. So it's great for the in-betweeny weather that we're having currently. Next up, and I'll show you this on separately in a second. I'll just be adding a bit of B-roll because I need to pitch my camera down a lot to be able to show you trousers. Um, but this is by ASOS. And this is the only summer item that I am actually showing you. I spotted this on someone on TikTok and I put in a notification and it came back in stock in exactly my size. This would be the only one they had left. And there was some sort of code, so I didn't pay a lot of money for this, but it's a pair of cotton uh, gingham trousers. And these are really comfortable. They have a wide leg, which I love. I have a pair of gingham trousers that have more of a fitted style to, to them, and they have ruffles down to side, which I got from Zara a few years ago, um, which I don't think they currently fit me. 
but I felt like having like a fall winter piece and then this for like the spring summer season because it is a more breathable material thought would be I thought would be fun and it has that wider leg that is currently a little bit better and this came in a cropped style we all know I love a crop style of trousers because I'm five foot one ish. And that means like in, in centimeters, it's like a one meter and 56 centimeters. So I'm not that tall. So trousers can be really challenging for me to find and not have to hem them. And sometimes if you hem longer trousers, the shape of them can be very different from what it was intended to look. Uh, what, it, what it was intended to look like. So with these, I felt I could wear them long. I can wear them in sneakers. They are absolutely perfect. And next up is this retailer, uh, Saison. I got a couple of pieces in the past couple of months from Saison. Saison is a little pricier than most things that I shop from, but I love some of their items so, so much. I go back to them all the time and I really wanted to see what their quality of their leather goods was like. So for my 40th birthday, I treated myself to my first Saison bag. So the day before my birthday, I actually went to Paris. So I was able to see this and try it on and pick it up in store because from the images online, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to go for the small version or this bigger version. In terms of price, I felt they weren't that like that, like different in terms of price point. So I was like, do I get the bigger one? Do I get the smaller one? And I'm glad I went with the bigger one because this one allows me to carry my e-reader and like my wallet and everything I need to go out for things. I have already carried it a few times to see how it goes. And it has been a great bag for on the go. Um, because it is a little bit more of a special purchase for me, I don't tend to treat myself to things that are this expensive. I've only done it a couple of times. I have a Polen bag, which was a similar price point that I got a couple of years ago. And now is like, I'm turning 40. I can treat myself to something a little bit more expensive. So I got this. So this is in the dust bag. I still have it stuffed with the paper that it came with so that it can hold its shape. And I'm only bringing it out. <clears throat> And I'm only going to be bringing this out on like the weekends when I need to go to birthday parties and things like that. I'm not ready to really put this to the ringer and make it like a daily bag for me um, because I do want to keep it a little bit more pristine, but I have been using it so far. The leather hasn't scratched um, the buckle here. It's like a little clasp that opens like this. It does get very fingerprinty. So I'm continuously wiping it down. It has a little slit here off to the side and then inside you get a big compartment in the middle. Uh, you have a big compartment here in the middle and then it has another like smaller uh, flap and then also one towards the back. So there are three compartments. So I have been loving this so much. It fits a lot more than I thought initially. And it is the Milo from Saison in case you were wondering. And this is the taupe color. And I know for certain this has already popped up in a weekend outfits. This is the Saison Le Crop a pair of jeans. I really wanted a colored pair of jeans. I have a lot of blue denim and I have like black and white and those kind of things, but I don't have too many in fun pops of color. I do have jeans like material, uh, like trousers in my trousers section. So I have a twill pair of dark green pants for the fall time. And I have a twill pair of lilac pants for the summertime. And I have a pair of like mustard sort of jeans esque kind of trousers from, um, from Everlane that I really enjoy, um, that I wear in the fall time as well, but I didn't have like proper, proper jeans in a fun color. And I thought red is everywhere. And when I spotted this over the summertime, I really, really wanted it. When I bought the bag, I saw this in store and that gave me a sense of what size to go for. At the time I was already buying the bag. So I was like, Ooh, that's already enough for me. And then closer to fall, I ended up making the purchase for this pair of trousers. Um, it has been great. I love red. It's my favorite color to wear. So I'm really enjoying all the red that we're getting. Um, one of the things I've told you in one of my weekend outfits videos as well, like I do wear trendy things, but I pick the trends that I like and red is a color I love. So when something like that is trending, I tend to buy it up in bulk so that I have enough items to see me through another uh, spell until red is back again. So I'll be showing you these on in a B roll in a sec. But there's a lot more red, as you can see from the rail behind me uh, in this haul today.
Case in point is another thing that I waited for to come back in stock on Saison. It's their Emile cardigan. And this is in this really fun, bright red color. And what I like about this, a lot of the reds that Saison does, like the trousers, are more of like a tomato-y sort of orangey red, closer to the lipstick I'm wearing today. But this is more of a pinky red, so which is very rare to find in clothing, I find. So this is really pretty. It has this cooler undertone. Let me show it to you on. So here is what the Emil cardigan looks like on me. I like wearing these things buttoned up as a sweater. Um, and this one is, I think for some people, a little bit scratchy because it does have mohair in, uh, which a lot of the Saison knitwear actually has. And I love it because on me, it's really soft. I feel this is like a hug, a really nice warm hug. It's been not cold enough to be wearing this out yet because I do teach and I get really, really warm and toasty when I'm in the classroom teaching all my students. So I don't tend to wear things like this until it's like December time. I've seen people wearing this all summer because this colorway was released, I think, for more like the spring summer season. And I think if I were more like a working from home or working in an office kind of person, it might work already. But for me, I'm just way too active in a day to <laughs> warrant something this warm, just like, like uh, yet. It has this like billowy sort of balloony sleeve. It's very slouchy. I got it a size up. I got it in a size large so that it would be a little bit more bulky. And then wearing it, if I'm wearing it with jeans, I can like tuck it in and it will have this nice drape. That was sort of the vision, but this will probably be coming up in a weekend outfits sometime this winter. I think I'm just going to have to whip out the ring light and see if I can make it work that way um, to uh, still show you, be, uh, to be able to show you my outfits that I'm wearing in November and December as well, because I think I can manage to do that. So yeah, this is the Saison cardigan in the Emil red version. And that brings me to my H&M section. I have, I haven't bought much from H&M. Like there are still things I get from there. Uh, like some like workout stuff and like loungewear I do like to get from h and M. I don't, I'm not too precious with it, you could say, but for clothing, for the fall time, I haven't really seen them do that many good things. I did place two orders and I returned most of it because it was no bueno. Uh, either the quality wasn't great or things just didn't really fit me right. One of the one only things I kept is this little taupe gilet from h and M. Um, so I have been looking for a lighter color gilet for a while. A lot of the ones that I have are really fun and colorful with a print or really dark. I have like five black gilets, like how many do you need really? Um, but this one I thought was really, really pretty. It has this higher button up and it definitely looks like it can be worn with a suit, but because it does have the same color in the back, I feel you can also wear this by itself over a blouse or over a turtleneck or something. And that's how I intend to wear this. Um, but I believe that if I remember correctly, this can be buttoned up and I could potentially wear it as a top itself. I don't feel super comfortable with that because it does have a slightly deeper V. Um, but I think this is one of the only gilets I have that doesn't need anything under it if I don't want to. So this is what the H&M gilet looks like. The one of the reasons why I struggle buying lighter colors is because I am so fair. I feel that if I then also wear very light clothing, it kind of disappears on me. So I would never wear it like a top. I don't think I would ever wear it like this. Maybe with like a black pair of trousers or something, but for the fall season with like a blouse underneath it, I think this will be great. I would probably wear it open, but as you can see, buttoned up, this works really well for me. And this is one of the very few uh, gilets that can do that on me because a lot of the gilets I own like are more of like a throw over kind of piece, if you know what I mean. Also from H&M are two pairs of jeans. If there's something that H&M can do, it's good jeans for not too high a price point. Uh, and this is a pair of barrel, barrel leg jeans and barrel leg is everywhere at the minute. And I've been looking for a p good pair of barrel leg jeans for the past two years because they slot kind of came in when the baggier jean trends started to happen a few years ago. You started to see them here and there. I was eyeing up a pair from Levi's, but those were out of stock in my size by the time I had the budget ready to go <laughs> to be able to make that purchase. And now I found a one but two pairs from H&M. So I'll be showing you this again in a bit of B-roll so I can pitch down my camera. Um, these are, I think, my favorite pair of the two. Um, I, I really enjoy buying jean styles in like a medium wash, a lighter wash, and a darker wash. 
Um, for the fall winter season, I prefer medium and really dark washes of denim. I just do. Um, but without it being black, I don't love black jeans. I love black trousers, but I don't wear a lot of black jeans. It's pretty rare for me. But I love that this has the seam running over the like middle part of the trouser. And then it also has this seam. I'm not sure if you can see, but sort of like halfway up the leg. And these are again, for a change, not super long on me because they're supposed to be like ankle length on taller people. But for me, it's like a full size pair of jeans. It works really well. These are a mid rise though. So I didn't love that. And these fit really, really baggy. I read the reviews on H&M before making the purchase and everybody was saying to size down. And that's exactly what I did in these. And I felt that they were that perfect sort of semi slouchy, a little bit wider leg, but then it tapers down at the bottom sort of look that I wanted to go for. So this is, I think is the best one. And the darker wash pair is a little bit more clownish as you will see. So I also bought this pair and this is super, super dark wash, which I love. Uh, but these, I'm not sure, here you can't see, but you can see, I hope you can see the curve of this leg, um, of the pant leg, because this is almost like clown plants, pants, I'm not gonna lie, like this pair of jeans isn't necessarily for the faint of heart. Um, but I thought, you know what, it makes for an interesting shape. I think if you write, wear it with the right things, you can really sort of play with the silhouette and I love testing out and trying things out. Um, so this is a little bit more exaggerated. The lighter pair I just showed you does have that barrel shape to it, but it's not that exaggerated. This really like billows out and it's really, really fun. It's definitely a little bit crazy, but I need to style this up to see how much I like it. But this will like, you know, a cr like a, some sort of like a turtleneck, I think with a gilet on top or like a blazer, I think will be fine. But even with like a bulky knit on top, like that drapes really well. I have some really pretty cashmere sweaters that I can see myself wearing with this. Next up is something I got from Uniqlo. And if you saw my summer vlog, when I went on my summer vacation, you will have already seen me trying some things on that I got from Uniqlo. I actually went in there when I was in Sweden and I bought myself a few bits from Uniqlo that I really wanted to own that were in the sale, in the summer sale. And I decided to buy those as instead of like buying souvenirs. So I got a linen jumpsuit. I got a pair of dark blue denim, uh, linen trousers with a little bit of a stripe. And then I also got a pair of skorts in a black linen material, but those are super summery. But something I picked up when I was in Paris, the day I bought the bag from Cezanne, I also went into Uniqlo and I bought this really, really pretty cotton, like denim, really dark denim blouse. That's what this is. Um, and I actually decluttered a denim blouse I used to have <laughs> earlier this year. So you might be wondering, Micah, why did you buy another denim blouse? First of all, do you see how sharp that collar is? I love a good sharp collar. It is a little bit pointier than most collars on denim blouses. So I feel it gets a little bit more shape from that. Plus the collar. The color of this blouse is my absolute favorite. I have just found because I wear a lot of like lighter to medium wash denim most of the time that if I'm gonna wear a, like a jean style top, it's gonna have to be a dark wash because if I do double denim, I don't want it to look too samey samey. Then I do want there to still be contrast. So I felt like this, I could get away with a lot better. And here is what that unique low blouse looks like on me. I think this looks really pretty. I love this darker, almost like navy color on me. I just feel it has the right kind of contrast and it really goes with my coloring. So that's why this sort of darker wash denim and the denim blouse I had was like really, really thick and it was more like almost like a jeans jacket, but it was still a blouse, but this is a little thinner. So it works more like a blouse. It has a better drape than the other one had. So that's another reason why I love this one. As I was putting on this blouse, I realized, but I bought something from Lucy and Yak as well. And I need to show them because this is one of my most exciting finds for this entire season. So this is another pair of the Lucien Yak. I believe they're called the Addison jeans. I showed you two pairs of them in my spring summer haul and leopard print is everywhere this fall. I think we get leopard print every single year to begin with, but leopard print trousers are a pair, a, especially a thing at the minute. And it was one of the very few leopard print things that was still missing in my wardrobe. So I was like, 
Lucy and Yak probably do a good one, and they did, because I already knew that I like this style of trouser. It is a high-waisted pair of trousers that tapers down. It's more like a mom style, you could say. Um, these also came in a petite. I didn't get those because they were out of stock in my size and I didn't want to wait for it to potentially come back. So I just got the regular length and I will be turning these up, like rolling them up, up at the bottom. But it's also a good leopard print. I, you know what I mean? Like with leopard print, not every leopard print is created equal. Uh, and some of them look really cheap. <laughs> but I feel that this is a leopard print that looks really, really nicely. It fits really well too. And this is a great cotton pair of trousers. I wore the stripey ones already in the spring summer season and now I can wear this one and the rusty red ones that I got um, for the fall season. So I thought that this would be a great addition because I have lots of leopard print already. I just didn't own it in like a good pair of bottoms for the fall winter season. And I figured this would be making a good, good addition. But then we're moving on to a new brand that I discovered this summer. And I first got a couple of pieces from there fall from their summer sale which actually had a lot of wintry pieces in and then for the fall winter season i decided to get two things that i don't see myself being able to pick up in a sale anytime soon and the brand is called Joni clothing they're a uk-based brand similar to lucy and yak the only downside to Joni clothing is that they don't ship their items from a warehouse within Europe, like Lucy and Yak seems to be doing, because with both of the times that I ordered from this website, I was hit with additional cust uh, custom fees, which makes it a little bit expensive to buy from them, to be quite fair. So I'll probably stick to the items I have. I'm not gonna like a, like ch change over my entire wardrobe into Joni clothing, but they have a very similar philosophy to producing clothing like Lucy and Yak has. It's supposed to be more sustainable. Uh, they can trace where everything comes from. Um, and that is one of the things that I'm currently looking for when I'm purchasing uh, clothing nowadays as well. This is a jumpsuit in this really pretty tartan corduroy. Yes, it's it's got checks like tartan checks. And then it also has corduroy. I was like, mm. it's got a sash and this fits really, really well. So let me throw it on. And here's what the jumpsuit from Joni clothing looks like on me. I love this. It's incredibly comfortable. It is a thinner fabric though. So for a corduroy, it doesn't feel as heavy. Like corduroy can be really thick and heavy sometimes, but with this, it is quite a thin fabric. So I love it. I actually saw this originally on their website over the summertime in a dress. And I was like, if that dress comes back in stock, I would like to get it. But then it was selling out and um, they have the measurements up on the website. So I measured myself to see what size I would have to get in some of these things. And then I actually felt that the jumpsuit would probably be a better fit for me than the dress would actually be. And it came in the same color. I was like, I love jumpsuits as well. It does button down uh, far enough that it's not a chore to put this on or off when you're going to the bathroom. With jumpsuits, that's definitely something I look for because it is a little bit awkward to go into the to the bathroom in these, of course. But I love this color. It is so, so pretty. It has a really nice collar here, the button placket. It has that little sash here. It's got pockets, which is always a nice bonus. Plus it is has, has a long sleeve and a lot of my jumpsuits are short sleeved. So they, they're not the best to wear to work for that reason. But this is definitely something that I could already be wearing to work very, very soon. And with a jumpsuit, just like with a dress, you're done in one go because you just throw it on and you're good to go. It's got like a tapered leg. Can you see my legs? You can't, but yeah, that's sort of what we're going for here. And I just really, really enjoy this color and it's very comfortable. And I just love the way this fits on me as well. And this may seem a little bit silly because I got the same dress times two, but in a different print. I believe this is their Andy dress. That's what it's called. And this is the one that I got in the summertime, but look at this print. Isn't that perfect for fall? Like it has, it's a collaboration that they did with the Natural History Museum apparently. So it's got like I th some sort of like squirrel and pheasant and like a rabbit on there, strawberries and like lots of different fruits and berries and things like that. But this print reminds me so much of a dress I used to have from ASOS that got too small. And that was a very similar style. So this has a Peter Pan style collar. It's got a sash. 
And here's the thing, I made a little bit of a mistake when I bought this because I was sort of like in between sizes. So when I made my first purchase for this dress, I just decided to get the bigger size because it was it would always work on me. But I feel it is perhaps a little bit too big in the body. And so I sized down when I bought the second printed pair or the uh, second print that I wanted to get uh, because that print is what introduced me to the brand. But I'll talk about that in a second. So let me throw this on so you can see this really, really perfect fall dress. And here is what that Joni dress looks like on me. It is really, really flowy and fluttery. It has these gathered sleeves, which I really like. Like I said, it has a Peter Pan style collar, which is really, really pretty. Um, it has a full button front placket all the way down. And what I like with these Joni clothing items is a lot is that usually I get a little bit of gaping somewhere around my midsection because brands never put a button there. So very often I will sew um, like snap closures onto things myself so that things actually stay put and I don't have to worry about it like showing skin throughout the day in weird spots. They've actually put the bot buttons in themselves already. So right here around the center where there is usually a little bit of gaping, there is a little like hidden button that you can attach to the dress so that it's not gonna gape anywhere. So this is big. As I said, it is like way too big around here and it has like my short, my torso is quite short. So this, this, it's kind of looks like it's got to drop ways, but because it has a tie, I can sort of hike it up and it works fine. But hear me out. This is what introduced me to the brand. I actually saw someone wearing a cardigan with this print. I ended up getting the cardigan in a different print because I liked it better in like the close-ups of what the knit looked like. But I knew when it comes back in stock in my size, I'm gonna be buying that book print dress. And this is the exact same dress as I'm wearing right now, just a size smaller, because I learned my lesson in bookshelf print. Th this, is this is why it was worth it for me to buy the additional <laughs> shipping and handling fees, um, because this is just super unique. I love that there's a little cat on the bookshelf and we've got a little lamp and then we have all these books leaning and the colors are perfect for fall. So I was like, you know what? For me, it's it's worth it to get these fun things. And I bought most of these, like these items and a couple of items I have coming up, I bought in their uh, summer sale. So it was a little bit cheaper um, because I did get a discount on all of those pieces. So that made it a little bit easier, but I knew I was be, I would be okay paying full price for this beautiful dress. It has a bit of an elastication in the back as well. So even if you fluctuate in size, this is still going to work. So that's why I knew that getting a size down was actually the answer for me. Um, I thought that it didn't have the elastication in the back and then I sometimes need to size up in a dress. And I love that it's buttoned down because I can no longer deal with back zippers in dresses, I just. <laughs> I no longer like that kind of thing. So this being buttoned up, it's great, it's comfy, and I think for teaching life, this is perfect. I was mentioning a bookshelf print cardigan that I had seen somebody wearing that online, and that's why I found out about this brand. And then I found that they do it in a green as well. So they do the print of the dress that I just showed you in this style of cardigan. I'd forgotten the name, but I just looked at the close-up of what the knit looks like. And then the other print kind of disappeared in my opinion, but this one still looked very distinct. So it looks a bit like an, a shelf with books, more so like a, more like a storage shelf rather than like an actual bookshelf. So it's a bit more office-like, but I love the colors of this better in the knit. And I love a dark green cardigan as we've seen in my cardigan collection that you've already seen. Um, so yeah, this has plants on it and that's what I think I like so much. It's got the little plants and the greenery and then some books on a bookshelf. It just looks super cozy and it feels very cozy. So let me show it to you on. And here is that Joni cardigan on. It's not super oversized, which I didn't want to be with this because I think I'll just wear it open mostly with a basic t-shirt underneath because it does have the V-neck. So it's gonna be cold in the neck department really easily, but this with just something plain underneath it is going to work really, really well. And I think this looks stunning. Like the print is so much fun and I love the color on me. So 
I was like, you know what? Black. I don't wear a lot of black cardigans. I have plenty already. I've got plenty of green ones as well. But yeah, I just thought it was fun. It has some pockets. It's got a slightly longer style. And yeah, I'm, I can't wait to wear this. I actually didn't wear this because I first wanted to film this video. <laughs> Um, sometimes I'll do that. It's like some pieces I'm like, oh, I want to wear them straight away. But sometimes I'm like, I want to keep them pristine for when I fill my haul. And finally from Joni Clothing, I invested in this little cohort. So this was also in that um, uh, summer sale that they were doing both the gilet, because that's what we're talking about, a corduroy gilet and this wide leg cropped corduroy trousers with really, really deep pockets. So again, I'll show you the trousers on in the B-roll because um, you won't be able to see that when I throw it on. But like the taupe one from H&M, this one actually fits me pretty well. Uh, it is perhaps a little bit of a deep V, so I'm gonna have to cover myself up a bit when I put it on. But this worked really well for me and I love this color. I didn't own a corduroy gilet yet. And I love having cohorts in my <laughs> wardrobe because it makes for great mixing and matching in my opinion. Did I need another dark green pair of corduroy trousers? Not at all, but this way I could try their trousers as well. So here's the Joni Clothing Gilet. As you can see, it's a lovely dark green color. It fits really well. The buttons can be buttoned up, which is the second Gilet I now own that can actually do that for me. And the corduroy trousers with it is really, really pretty. I already have this vision of how I wanna wear this because I have this super billowy, almost like rock and roll style blouse with a pussy bow, which is in this really nice jacquard cream. And I was thinking putting that blouse with this set is gonna give the ultimate 70s rocker style look. So that's gonna be the look I wanna wear. Again, it's been a little bit like wishy-washy with the weather. We have some really nice days where we've even had 20 degrees uh, Celsius, that is. Um, so yeah, for me, this has been a really great find and I really enjoy these pieces and I can't wait to style these. And those are all of the regular brand items that I bought for this haul. Everything else I have to show you is vintage and probably also from Vinted because I have been on the Vinted train ever since my vintage kilo sale lady who I always go to, uh, like they had a vintage kilo sale in my town once a month. And I went there for a couple of years. I started buying from there in Corona times and that's when I discovered them. And um, so I've been buying from them for like three years and they've stopped doing it. So now I need to find other ways to get my vintage fix, you could say. And there are loads of vintage stores around in the city I live in, but I don't have a lot of time in my life to go around town and like visit multiple things and finding good vintage takes time. It takes effort. Like I don't find anything uh, sometimes and sometimes you find a lot. So Vinted has been my go-to lately where I've really found some more unique things that I truly, truly adore. And I wanted to show you some things that I got. So I bought this blouse, which is this really pretty red with the lace detail from a seller from Spain, as well as a white blouse. And I thought if I put on the white blouse next, then I can put the two gilets that I, sh that I bought over that because those will not keep keep me covered like this one has. So let me show this on, uh, throw this on because it is really billowy and drapey and lovely. And I love finding vintage pieces like this. Here is what that vintage blouse looks like on. Of course, this isn't styled up. I would probably like tuck it in to begin with, but look at that shoulder detail. It's puffy, it's billowy, it's fun. It has the gorgeous applique and I only just found it out now that I'm putting it on. There are these two little buttons. I'm not sure if you can see and they can be attached to the collar here. So you could close this collar and make it a little bit more prim if you'd like to, but I like to wear it like this. Uh, and then it just has this really gorgeous embroidery that's really like covering this bib area of the blouse. And this is such a gorgeous red on me. I really, really enjoy this color. And it, like I said, it came from Spain and I bought another blouse from the same seller. So I'll throw that one on next. And here is what the other blouse from the same seller looks like on me. It is white, as you can see, but again, it has this really nice applique detail. It has piping down the side and some more 
applique detail here. It's got a short sleeve length and it's a little bit boxy and oversized, but I love the drape of this. Again, something I would tuck in to a high-waisted pair of jeans for sure. Um, but these are the kind of things I love pairing with other things as well. So this is such a good staple. And the seller was really honest about there being some stains on the collar, but I gave it a couple of washes and I washed it in the sun, sunshine hanging outside when I got this in over the summertime and they removed like this. Like I did have to wash it like two or three times for it to happen, but you can barely tell there were stains on the collar and it works really well. So, and this is a really nice bright white as well, which I don't have a lot of. A lot of white for some reason always has a yellow tint to it and I don't always love that. So let me show you two more vintage items that I can wear over this white blouse. So if you saw my recent declutter where I showed you all of my cardigans and gilets, uh, I showed you this. This had just come in. It is a burgundy velvet quilted with these really fun silver buttons gilet that I found on Vinted. It is a little bit snug, like I wished it would go a little bit more here, but this is absolutely fine. And with a really billowy blouse like this, I think it can work. It kind of like gives you a little bit more shape and I do appreciate it for that. And burgundy is everywhere this season. It's velvet. It's definitely a little bit more unique in my wardrobe so I can definitely make this work. And here's another vintage find. This is a leather gilet in the red. It has four like snap closure buttons. It kind of fits, but it doesn't close all the way. I have to like squeeze myself in here, but I think this way you can see what I mean with gilets just giving you a little bit more shape, especially if you wear something a little boxier underneath it. Like I love the flowiness of this sleeve, but then adding something more structured on top like a gilet is going to make the look feel more put together, together which is why I love gilets and blazers and cardigans and stuff like that because it adds a lot of texture to your outfits and I love a good bit of texture and a leather gilet I didn't have yet. So, and it's in a really, really nice red color. So what more could you wish for? Next up, I have this skirt for you. This is another item I've already showed you in a weekend outfits because I wore it in my October weekend outfits. This is another find from the Cologne batch, which is where I got the same men's sweater I showed you at the beginning. So this is a really nice check, like tartan print, uh, midi skirt, like ma almost maxi on me. It's like at the end of my calf and it has a full button down, but it does have an elasticated waistband. So it looks stunning. I've already worn it with several different items in my wardrobe and I've been loving it. So I'll just show it to you on in the B-roll. So you will have seen that by now, but this is a good one. And I knew I'd have to put the shirt, keep the shirt on for a while. Cause I have another thing that I need to layer it with. This is a really, really pretty, uh, another vintage find, a vintage blazer also in a check print. If you can guess where my current vacation is going on as you're watching this, because there's a lot of check in, that's from that region in, 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 today's, in today's video, I'm well aware. I've loved tartan print my entire life. I have so many items and I've owned a lot of items with tartan print uh, in the past that either became too small and I had been on the hunt for a really good red tartan print blazer and I found the one through Vinted. I was, for a minute, I was afraid that it was gonna be too small because the tag in here, it kinda has loads of different sizes on it. The biggest size it says is a 42, um, but I can't see from what country it is. And then for, for instance, for Great Britain, it says 34, but that's not a size I'm familiar with. And for the US, it says a size eight. And with Vintage, it can sometimes run a little bit small. So I wasn't sure. And then I put it on and I was like, oh, it's actually pretty good for me. Like it's a little snug, but it's quite right. So let me show it to you. So here is what the blazer looks like on. I can't close it. That's, that's the thing that makes it snug. But what I like about this one is that it really nice, nicely singes you in at the waist. It kind of flares out. So that's why, why this one works. And I don't mind it if blazers are a little bit more fitted. Very often what I have found in the past when I first started buying blazers, I would get them to fit me around here. And then the arms would be massive and it looked like I drowned, but it fits well in the shoulder. It fits well in the sleeve length for me. I can still 
move around in it. So then I'm good, you know? I, it doesn't need to close here because I'm always layering things underneath it anyway. So if I like the shape and the drape of it, I'm usually pretty good. And I feel that this one works quite well. So I'm really happy to finally have a good red check blazer in my wardrobe. And one of the things that came in more, more recently from Vinted is this little teal cardigan number. I spotted this, did I need it? I don't think so, but I think it was only 10 euros. There is a hole in the armpit uh, that the seller didn't see apparently. So it was fine, it was cheap. It came here pretty quickly, but I just love the color of it. It's this really, really perfectly tealy blue. Oh, so, so good. So here is what that cardigan looks like on me. Again, something I'll probably prefer to wear open more so than closed, but it can work. It's really soft and warm and cozy. I think it is mainly acrylic though. I don't think it's real wool. Um, there is a wool blend in there, but I like the knit pattern as well. It has this check here and then it has this more cable knit design on the body. It is pretty high necked. This is really, really great for the fall season. You can throw this over anything and it's super comfortable. And I love being comfy and warm at the same time, but still have it be a fun color and something I can style up. Are you ready for the last two pieces? I still have some outerwear for you. Again, vintage finds, suede jackets are everywhere. I have one, but it doesn't have a lining. So it's no good wearing it outside if it's colder. And then I found this thing. I just thought the color was really good. It does have massive shoulder pads, so it makes me look super bulky and wide. But I was like, this has the lining and it has the color that I want it to be. Because a lot of suede jackets are really light and I don't like that. This is like, a better color for me. So let me throw it on. So here is what the suede jacket slash coat looks like. It's more of a coat on me um, because I'm not that tall. So for me, this comes past my butt, which is great. Sleeve length, great. It kind of just covers my arms, so that's good. It does faintly smell of cigarettes and I can't wash it, of course. So if anybody has any tips of how to get cigarette smell out of vintage clothing, I'm your gal <laughs> because that is the risk of buying vintage, especially outerwear. In the past, people always smoked and they would wear their coats doing it sometimes. So that's why I definitely think this has a little bit of a musty smell that I hope to get rid of at some point, but it's got nice deep pockets. I love the length of me. I like the color. And I also, I do really like the shape, like the shoulder pads just give it a little bit more of a oomph, you could say. And this is big enough on me that I can still wear a comfortable knit underneath it so it isn't too snug, which is what I'm looking for in a coat that I wanna wear in the fall winter season. And the piece de resistance, I've saved the best for last. I already mentioned this in a recent video. I was looking for a duffel coat for the longest time. So a duffel coat is this style of coat with the little toggle buttons uh, that it has. And I wanted a red one and I found one on Vinted for 20 euros or something like that. Um, the person had just not really taken care of it properly. I put a debobbler to it and it was more than fine. And it was by this brand, Gloverall. And I found so that they do so many good things. And when I looked, at, looked up this brand and their online store, cause they're still around, I found that these coats retail for like, the four or 500 euro mark. So getting that shipped over from the UK, which is where they're based, would just be incredibly expensive because you would not only have to be paying for shipping and handling fees, but also for additional taxes because it's worth over 150 euros. So I was like, you know what? I love this brand. I wanna get something that's a little bit more oversized and longer than the red one that I bought because the red one is great but it is a shorter style and it's a little bit snug because the sizing on these is a little bit weird. I can still re wear the red one just fine. I will get a lot of wear out of it. But then I spotted this barely worn navy one for 45 euros. And I was like, I can, I don't want, I don't need any other winter coats. I really don't, but this is exactly the style I want in exactly the kind of color I love for the fall season, because I do like a dark navy, and it's a price I like as well. And this, it's like the other one I had to debobble because it was worn and it had been worn a lot. This one, 
no wear and tear. Very often when I see these secondhand, the toggles uh, is where you will see a lot of fraying and a lot of like messing around. I think this person bought it, didn't like it, and they wanted to get rid of it. That's what it seems to be. So let me show you this one on. So I need to show you the inside of the coat first. Yes, it has a tartan print lining. So I very deliberately bought this a little bit more oversized so I can wear bulkier knits underneath it. This is also a much better length for me for a winter coat because it goes past my knees. So it is one of their longer styles, which are also more expensive. I love, where is it? That these have a hood because I love a hood in the winter time because it makes you very cozy. And this also has the detail where you can close up the neckline so you can even wear this without a scarf and it will still keep you warm. It has really nice deep pockets here as well. It is a bit oversized on me, so the sleeves are ever so slightly too long, but I don't mind that. This is going to work so well for me in the fall winter season. And as I mentioned, this has rarely, rare, this has just not been worn. Um, it had been on Vinted for months because <laughs> I already spotted this when I bought the other one. And I was doubting between this one and the red one. And I was like, you know what? If this hasn't sold, by the time I start shopping for fall winter pieces around like September time, that's when I usually do the bulk of my fall winter shopping because that's when all the collections drop, I'm going to pick it up. And that's what I did. And it feels it feels heavy. It is a pretty good wool count as well. I think it's like 80% wool um, and I just love it. And that lining, the lining makes the coat for me. It's so comfy. It's one of the best winter coats I have ever bought and I got it for pennies on Vinted. Loving this thing. So uh, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this for sure. And with that, we have come to the end of this haul. So thank you so very much for watching this video today, you guys. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. I will be back with a new haul whenever I have collected enough pieces to show you, which is gonna take me months because I don't buy that much. I only buy like bits and pieces here and there every month and so probably like maybe January, February, March time, that's probably when I will have bought enough things to show you. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this fall winter season and you will be seeing me styling these up as well. So I hope you like to stay tuned for more. I will be back with a vlog first though, because if you've guessed right, then yes, I am in Edinburgh as we speak. Um, and when I come back next week, you will be seeing a little vlog of my time there. So I hope you like to stay tuned for more and then I hope to see you again in a new video next week. See you then. Bye-bye.